I know that after being out of university for a long time, it is very difficult to study again. Some of you must have been out of university for decades and you are left with a sensation that you want to escape but can't. After getting the letter from PEO about the technical exams, your thoughts would be jumbled and what you must be seeing in front of you doesn't make sense for some time. But as your thoughts settle, you will come to a realization that you will have to choose the subjects. So what is the best way to choose the subjects you will be studying and appearing for? You can choose the subjects by following the three steps. Work around your strengths. Go through the syllabus. Identify subjects you are comfortable with. First, work around your strengths. Every technical paper is built around a field of study which is directly related to engineering even though you may not be using the concepts. It is directly related to your field of work. So you should choose the subject for which you are applying in your daily job. Go through the syllabus. You must have gotten the syllabus. Then please go through the syllabus. You will go through each and every paper for the electrical stream at the end of this video. And the third is identify the subjects you are comfortable with. There are ways by which you can do this. Now that you have seen the syllabus for the subjects, then you have a brief idea about what all the papers ask of you. If you are comfortable with the questions, then choose that paper. I hope that you like this video and with these three steps, you will be able to choose the subjects for which you want to appear for PO technical exams. So you must have received a letter from PO uh, which will show you the different exams that you will have to give. Uh, when I applied for the license, I got a letter. I am not aware about the situation right now, whether you get a letter or it's a totally online process. So I got this letter from PO in which shows that I have to give certain exams depending on the application that you have given and how your uh, education compares to the Canadian education they will assign you some exams this is for the electrical stream and it shows two groups of exams this is group A and group B group A exams are comparatively easier than group B exams group B exams are more advanced compared to group A exam and there are complementary studies exams also uh, which have economics, engineering in society, sustainability and engineering management. It is not exactly technical. Uh, technical are group A and group B exams. So here when you go through there will be a syllabus. Uh, we, it starts with basic studies. So basic studies are the subjects that you have studied uh, up to grade 12th. So this is mathematics, probability and statistics, uh, electric circuits and power, advanced mathematics. So if your application is lacking in certain respects, they may assign you some basic studies exams also. So presently we are concerned about complementary exam procedure which is group A and group B exams. So group A syllabus is this. The first exam is circuits which starts with Ohm's law, inductance law, capacitance law and other things such as sinusoidal inputs, frequency response. Basically it is all about circuit design which we studied in electrical stream right from Ohm's law. It has Laplace transform also. Then the next exam is systems and controls, which is 16 elec A2. This is basically control system design. It has system models, block diagram reduction, transfer function, signal flow graphs, then state space analysis, Nyquist criteria, 
frequency do, frequency domain analysis time domain analysis then simple pid control system with delay the next exam is this which is signals and communication which is 16 elec a3 it is mostly dealing with telecommunication so if you are working in the telecommunication field this exam will be more easier for you it shows different uh, techniques and such as nyquist sampling theorem z transform analog communication systems etc the next exam is digital systems and computers so this uh, deals with uh, all the different types of logic circuits gates truth tables and uh, uh, there is some amount of programming also and if you are having to deal with uh, computer programming etc in your field of uh, work then this is a good exam for you to take the next exam is electronics which is 16 elec 85 it has all the electronic components right from semiconductors diodes thyristors bjt fet then bias circuit cmos mosfets all these come under electronics then the next exam is power systems and machines which is 16 like a6 this exam if you are doing electrical engineering and maybe power engineering then this is a very good exam for you to give because most of the concepts that you are using in your field of work you can easily come across in this exam and it will be easy for you to give the next exam is 16 elec a7 which is electromagnetics if you are in the telecommunication field then this exam will be very easy for you to give for some of the electrical streams such as control engineering or instrumentation this does not play much role so people with instrumentation and control background will not be in a better position to give this exam because it is a totally different concept and it mostly deals with electromagnetic waves maxwell's equations etc so in this way you can see the different concepts which will be used in the exam you can just check the question papers find out your comfort level and then you will be able to decide which exams you should give